A couple years ago, we started seeing a trend um, by the operators where they were using higher energy on the bits. Um, we saw this in motor technology, where the output torques were increasing to basically near the makeup torque of our bits, if not above. Uh, we also started to see a trend in significantly higher ROPs. And how do you get our higher ROPs? Basically, you have to add more weight and torque. And with those things, we started to see um, bit features, such as the connection, such as the, uh, the bit head where it attaches to the blank, and the effect of those with slight damage here and there. And that's kind of how the, the whole high energy product line got started. Basically looking at dull condition, looking at trends and operations, and then targeting specific features of the bit to address those concerns. As the operators got more energy to be used, basically we have to be able to match that energy. So if we can't sustain the energy that the operators can use to achieve those high ROPs, then basically it's wasted. So the high energy product line, the basis of it is to allow operators to fully utilize the capacity of their rigs, of their motors, of their BHAs, of their hydraulics to achieve the greatest ROP or to reduce their days on well. So our high energy product line, we, we basically took a holistic approach. We started at the API threaded connection and worked our way through the cutter, basically the end of the bit, the cutter tip. And we started at the, high, at the connection. And what we said was, what can we do to increase the fatigue life and increase the strength of our connection? So we've implemented a high strength premium grade steel. At the same time, we evaluated all of our pins for their stress relief groove to ensure that the stress relief groove was appropriate for that bit size. When we moved up from the shank, we got to where the bit body or the bit head attaches to the body. And that's what we call um, the blank attachment to the bit. We actually have a pri proprietary feature in our blanks that allow our bit heads to take significantly more torque than before. Moving up from there, we have customized our matrix and binder blends to not just be more erosion resistant, but to be stronger and tougher so that one, they prevent cracks, but two, when a crack starts, it mitigates the propagation of those cracks. And then we have the, the best suite of cutters, the most reliable suite of cutters in the industry. So we can target specific cutters to an application, whether it's high energy or non-high energy, to meet those specific needs. Basically, we've been tracking performance in the Bakken laterals now for a couple years, and what we've seen is that the operators have taken full advantage of their energy at the rig. We've seen ROPs increase approximately 150% just over the last couple years. And so that led us to say, okay, we need to ensure that our bits can hold up to these properties or these operating parameters. And since we've implemented the high energy connection and the proprietary milled blank, we have seen zero failures or damage related to bit head or connection issues.